Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we are kind of doing some emotional eating, if I'm being completely honest. I let you guys know in a community post that I've been sick. I'm feeling a lot better today, but on top of that, I'm kind of going through a very personal and emotional situation that honestly, it, it's got me down. It's got me down bad, okay? So I thought, what better way to lift my spirits than to do a car mukbang and eat a bunch of fast food that I've never tried before. Um, so we're going to Arby's. I'm actually like about to pull into Arby's right now. But yeah, I have not had Arby's, I would say in well over a decade. It has been so long since I've had Arby's and their menu just looks so good to me right now. So yeah, we're gonna go to Arby's and order a bunch of food. And I was gonna film a Pakistani food mukbang. Hold on, let me park real fit. Park, park really quick before I go to, oh wait, hold on. I gotta go around, okay. Um, Wait, is this? Okay, yeah. So I was gonna film a Pakistani food mukbang today, but I just had to get out of my apartment, had to get out of there, and my car is kind of like my safe spot, my safe place. So that is why I decided to do this. And for those of you who are wanting to see the Pakistani food mukbang, don't worry, it is coming, I promise. I'm gonna try and film it next weekend. I just, I can't do it in the car because it is a lot of food. I don't know exactly how it works at this restaurant, but basically you just get a platter and they give you a bunch of like different servings. Okay, we're pulling up. I'll finish this story once I get this food, but. Let's see. Thank you, Richard. Hi, um, could I get the spicy prime rib cheese steak meal? And can I get that with curly fries? And can I do the root beer float? Can I also get the buffalo chicken slider? Yeah. And the jalapeno roast beef slider. Yeah, right. Can I get an order of the mozzarella sticks? Uh, you want that as a four or six piece? I'll take the four piece. Four piece? Yes. All right. And then can I also get the roast turkey euro? You said the roast turkey? The roast turkey euro, yes. Is that a meal or just a... Um, just the euro. All right. And then that Jamocha shake, do you have that in like a small size? Yeah, we have a small, well, this, the smallest size we do have for a is the snack size. Oh, can I do that? All right, and you said Jamocha? Yes. All right, I got it. Okay, perfect. I think that's going to be it. All right. Can I get you a ketchup for any sauce with this at all? Um, can you just give me like whatever sauce is popular? <laughs> okay. Alright. Total is going to be 2070 at the Okay, thank you. No problem. See, you guys, that guy was nice. That guy was so nice. I don't know if you guys saw my Taco Bell video, but that woman, she was not having it she did not like me she was not okay and um hi here you go thank you thank you Thank you. I've never been to this location before. Like I said, I haven't been to Arby's since, I don't know, was I in high school when I had it last? I might have not had Arby's since I, I was like back home with my parents and I went with my mom or something. It's been a long, long time. And I think that's why I've been craving it so bad because it's been so long. Yeah, I don't know. But also back to the Pakistani food. I know you guys have been requesting it and I'm so sorry that 
I didn't end up filming it today. I really hope you guys understand though, like going through an emotional situation is really hard and I just cannot film in my apartment today. Like I just can't do it. I need to get out. I need to just try and liven my spirit up and just, you know, try and I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna get this food and I will park somewhere and get all the food set up and then we'll dive right in. All right guys, just got my food and we secured the bag. Hey, I forgot I needed to do that. So I decided to turn my camera back on and yeah, we got the bag. So super excited. Oh, Oh, I can't wait. Okay. All right, you guys. So we are all set up and I am ready to dive, dive into, into this food. Oh my gosh. I can't wait. Okay. What do I start off with? I think I'm going to start off with one of these sliders. So we got the jalapeno slider and then we also got the buffalo chicken slider. So let's start off with this and try this. Gosh, I'm excited. This looks so good. Hmm. Maybe I'll try it with sauce. So I told him, just give me whatever sauce was popular because I don't know what's good at Arby's. So he gave me this horsey sauce is what it's called, which I'm assuming it's kind of like a horseradish sauce, but let's try it. Oh, it kind of looks like a mayonnaise. Hmm, okay. Mmm. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Yeah, this is hitting the spot. It is already 3 p.m. and I have not ate anything today because i wanted to wait to eat until i film this video oh this is the shake i don't know exactly what kind of shake it is i thought it had coffee in it but i don't think it does it, it was called like the jamocha shake hmm. okay it does kind of taste like mocha jamocha i don't know it kind of tastes like a mixture of like a chocolatey mocha okay so here's the buffalo slider oh let me do like ratings i would rate this a six out of ten it's not bad but you definitely need the sauce on it it's a little dry okay let's try this one this looks super good look how saucy it looks mmm wow okay this is a nine out of ten not having napkins in my car use the bread as a napkin but yeah this was really good nine out of ten for sure mm. yeah anyways what was i saying yeah i didn't eat anything because I wanted to wait until I filmed this video because I knew I was gonna get a ton of food. And then I realized my battery wasn't charged. So then I had to wait on my battery to charge. I didn't plug it up until like 1.30. And it usually takes about an hour and a half to two hours to charge, so yeah. I am absolutely starving. Okay, let's try this cheesecake. I do wish they would have cut this in half because this is a very big sandwich and it would be a lot easier to eat if it was cut in half, but let's just kind of bite into it. Ooh. This is good. Okay, not as good as that buffalo chicken slider we just had, but. Mmm. Let's take our horsey sauce and put that on there. Mm. 
Oh, wow. Okay, that's pretty good, you guys. I'm literally using... <laughs> I'm using old sweatpants as a napkin right now because they didn't give me any napkins and I have no more napkins left in my car. Usually, I keep napkins stocked in my car for situations like these, but I ran out. It's okay though. So anyways, how have you guys been doing? Hopefully y'all are hanging in there. I feel like usually, I don't normally get this with fall, but when winter comes, I definitely get like a seasonal depression where I just feel very like unmotivated and just sad you know like like I said it's just like a seasonal depression does anyone else get that let me know I know it's very common for people to get also got a chick-fil-a cup I didn't want to ask I was so scarred since the Taco Bell video I wanted to try and ask for like as least amount of things as possible so I was like let me just bring my own water okay so I'm opening up this marinara sauce and we're gonna try these cheese sticks I've heard really good things about these cheese sticks at Arby's I've heard they're really good Let's see if they are worth the hype. Mmm. Okay. I got a small little cheese pull there. Let's see if we can get another one. Okay, yeah. These are really good. Mmm. Okay. I would give these an 8 out of 10. Those are really good. I didn't rate the shake. Shake I would give... Mmm. Maybe a 7 out of 10. It, it definitely tastes like something I've had before. So, eh. This year has definitely... Oh my god, there's a fly in here. Oh no. Oh no, I'll go away flies. Cause I have the windows down cause I didn't want to turn my AC on. Oh, hopefully it leaves us. Okay, we're gonna try this Euro. But yeah, this year has been exceptionally tough. I mean, 2020 was rough, but 2021 has also been a really hard year. I'm sure it's been a hard year for everyone. Mm. Eating my hair. Hopefully you guys are all hanging in there and doing well staying positive that's the most important thing whenever you are faced with adversity you just gotta stay positive sisters these are clean by the way <laughs> But yeah, stay positive and keep your head up high. If you are like me and you are going through an emotional situation, you just got to hang in there. You got to hang in there and know that everything is meant to happen the way it's supposed to happen. Um, yeah, things will be okay. At least that's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> I'm just trying to be as strong as possible. Oh, also, I don't know if you guys watch Jeffree Star. I've never watched him before. I know he had like a ton of drama and like all these allegations and like a whole scandal against him. I don't really know. Oh, this fly. I don't know everything about what's going on. Oh, I think it left. Let me try closing my windows. Hopefully it's out. Um, but yeah, recently he came out with a palette called the Pricked Palette. And... Mm, love that. I don't know if you guys have seen the Pricked Palette, but it is beautiful i don't ever do eyeshadow like you guys have probably noticed i don't really wear eyeshadow a lot and that's just because i just like my makeup without eyeshadow but i still love eyeshadow and i love fall slash autumn eyeshadow colors um the pricked palette is all 
like fall colors i'll put a picture of it up on the screen but oh my gosh gorgeous palette so beautiful i want it so bad the only makeup of jeffree star that i have tried is the um nudes it's like a big long palette that says send nudes on it and oh, i gotta turn the ac on i was gonna try not to turn the ac on just because i don't want my food to be cold but it's getting hot um and these pesky flies won't stay out of my car <laughs> but yeah i love his nude lips i'm not wearing it right now i'm wearing something else but his nude lippies are so good so good i love them so i feel like i would really like the palette and i've been thinking about buying it so if you guys are into makeup at all and you guys have tried his eyeshadow palettes before let me know let me know what you guys think about his palettes some of you guys have been asking for makeup videos and i'm not really good at makeup i mean I know how I like my makeup and I do it pretty much the same all the time but I used to be way more into makeup when I was younger and I had more time to like play around with it I don't have as much time anymore so I'm just gonna stick to the same look but I cannot believe it's been this long since I've had Arby's. I think Arby's just used to always gross me out because of like their roast beef sandwiches, but it seems like their menu has gotten a lot more diverse now. Um, it's pretty dang good. This Euro is really good. Did I rate this Euro? Um, I don't think I did. I would give the turkey euro an 8 out of 10. The best item is definitely this buffalo chicken slider. Oh my gosh, this thing is so good. It doesn't even need this sauce, but we love us some sauce. Mmm. Yeah. Wow, this is so good. Oh, I also got this root beer float. I forgot about this. I used it for my thumbnail and then I just kind of forgot about it. It looks, I don't know. I kind of tried it when I was doing my thumbnail. It tasted okay, but I'm not, not a big fan. I think if I get a root beer float, it has to be from like an actual like diner or ice cream restaurant like somewhere that specializes in these i'm not a big fan of this it kind of tastes like oh excuse me yeah i don't know mm. not a big fan of that i'm gonna put that back down there i would give that five out of ten <laughs> i want to eat more of this uh prime rib cheese steak but it's so messy it's so messy oh my gosh okay mm. This, I think, is a new item that they have. I don't know exactly how new it is. I'll be honest. It's a little bit too sweet for me personally. It's not spicy. It's supposed to be spicy. This bad boy is not spicy. So. Whatever spicy sauce they're using on that, they need to turn the heat up. <laughs> This video is kind of getting long, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I am kind of getting a bit full. I might eat a little bit more, cry a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens when I turn the camera off, but let me do my shout outs. First shout out goes out to Tanvi or Tanvi, Tanvi Tanvi. Let me know in the comments which pronunciation it is and she said hey daisy can i get a shout out in the next video she also said we're promoting taco bell love you daisy nice video thank you so much i love you too and then the second shout out goes out to nancy nancy's been asking for a shout out for a while so here you go nancy she said hey daisy you're so cute love you a lot i love you too and then we'll do a third shout out just because i love you guys so much this shout out goes out to abigail abigail said hi daisy hope you're doing well shout out please the next video love your videos love you too 
you, girl. I love you guys all so much. Thank you all so much for being patient with me. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this big ol' Arby's mukbang. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.